guys, it's Holly Nicole George, the Twister Sister. Welcome to my channel. I love teaching people how to turn their creative passions and hobbies into successful businesses. My passion is balloon twisting. So every week we do a free balloon animal tutorial. This week we're going to learn how to make a peacock. So last week we did this really cool woven balloon hat. It had a lot of good responses and feedback and lots of pictures on social media. So if you haven't checked that one out, click the link that's gonna be in the video somewhere here and uh, you can go check that one out. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every single Tuesday, free tutorials just for you guys. Plus we're starting to add in some more business advice that will help you start, build, and grow your creative business. So for this week, I'm doing a fun, beautiful little peacock. I love peacocks. My wedding was peacock theme. They're just one of my favorite things. My dress, my wedding dress had like peacock on it. So definitely love them and I've never done a tutorial on peacocks. So for this tutorial, I'm using five, six. Six 260s. We've got two of these beautiful turquoise color balloons. I've got a fashion green, a deluxe marigold, fashion violet. These are from Vitalitex. Love their stuff. So um, very bright colors on the peacock, which makes sense. So I'm going to start off with my blue and my marigold. We're going to tie them together using the nozzle ends. Just get them attached. Grab some scissors and we're just gonna cut off those tails so we don't have any unnecessary extra balloon in there. I'm gonna start off on the marigold. We're gonna do two small, small, tiny little pinch twists. So a small little round bubble, fold it over, twist that bubble around itself, and do the same thing again for another small little pinch twist. And then the rest of this balloon we're going to use for the beak. Peacocks don't really have humongous beaks, so I'm just going to do about a one to two inch bubble here. We're going to break the rest of this off and save it for later because then we can use the rest of this for his legs. And I'm going to trim off that tail really close to the knot so we don't have a bunch of extra stuff. Okay, now we're starting on the head. I'm going to keep everything kind of a little bit small. Um, because the tail is going to be big. That's like the main focus of our peacock. We don't want to use up too much balloon on the head and body. So I'm just going to come back about an inch or so, do a little pinch twist here. Okay, we're going to go back into the beak. So bring your balloon into those two pinch twists. Okay. And now we're coming up and over. We're going to meet back into the pinch twist in the back of the head. So this is kind of little three bubbles that make up the head of our peacock. We're going to come down for a little bit of a neck. Not a super long neck like a swan, but they do have sort of longer necks. We're going to do a pinch twist here on the base of that neck. And then we're going to do a three bubble bird body, which is just two to three inch bubbles. We're going to do a pinch twist here in the back of the body because we're definitely going to need an attachment point for that big old tail. And we're going to come back into the pinch twist at the base of the neck. Twist our balloon into there. And then we're going to go underneath the body, leave a little bit of space here so we can slide some legs there, but go ahead and twist that into the back pinch twist. Okay, there we go. Had to put some uh, pillows in the window because the sun is coming up and it's like right there. <laughs> Moving on, this is what we should have so far. Just kind of a nice basic little bird body. Let's turn this into a gorgeous, fantastic peacock. So we're going to come up on the tail. I'm going to make the tail about this big. <laughs> and then we're going to do a pinch twist. A nice big round bubble there into a pinch twist. Get any remaining hairs out of the balloon. And we're going to get rid of the rest of this guy. I'm just going to wrap it around that pinch twist. 
a few times to lock it in. I'm not even tying it right now. It'll be fine. Okay, so that's what we have now. Now I'm gonna take my fashion green balloon and I'm gonna start off at the nozzle end. We're gonna do a big round bubble and then make that a pinch twist. I almost said a big round circle. <laughs> okay, we've been learning shapes here in the George household with the toddler. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do another bubble the same size here as this one. So we're just twist it off and then wrap that into the pinch twist at the base of the tail. And coming up the other side, we're gonna do the same size bubble again. Like that, and then a big round circle. <laughs> pinch twist, y'all, pinch twist, okay? There we go. And we can get rid of the rest of the green. Wait, actually, no, we don't. We're gonna take the green now and we're gonna connect it up to the top to our blue into that pinch twist and then over to the other green pinch twist. Okay, so now we've got our little feathers connected. You can get rid of the rest of your green now. Now, if you think this is good enough for a peacock tail, or you're in a line work, fast situation, you can probably get away with it with just having these three sections on the tail. Um, I like to make it as big as possible though, since it is a peacock, and so I'm gonna add an additional blue balloon, but this is totally optional, and you could skip this one if you're in a hurry. So on the blue balloon, I'm gonna take the nozzle, and we're going to connect it into one of the green pinch twists on the tail. Okay, and then we're gonna come over another bubble. You want it to be about the same size as this green bubble here. Do a pinch twist. All right, down into the base of the tail. Just twist it in there. I'm gonna go around that pinch twist one full time. And then finish it off coming out the other side. So we're gonna make a twist here for our last section, a pinch twist, and then connect that up into the green pinch twist on this side. Once you're done with that, you can get rid of the rest of your turquoise. So now we have a blue and green turkey it's looking amazing. <laughs> We're gonna turn this into a peacock with one additional balloon. We're gonna grab our beautiful violet balloon and we're just gonna attach this into one of the pinch twists on one side of the tail. And we're gonna do loops on the purple. So I just do about like that. And I'm not even worried right now about getting them over the pinch twist. We're make, just making the loops right now. You're gonna squeeze your balloon out, come back across the tail in the back, around the other pinch twist, make a loop. Same thing, go across to the next pinch twist, wrap it in, make a loop, across to the next pinch twist, wrap it in, make a loop, and see if we have enough to do the last one. Might have to tie in another balloon. All right, so we've got all our loops here. I do believe you could get all the purple loops in with one balloon with a little bit of practice. You can make your loops a little bit smaller or you can make these cross bubbles a little bit shorter. Um, I had to tie in another balloon just for this little last loop here. We're so close, so I really do think you could do it all in one. So once you've got all your loops, they're looking a little crazy. This is what we've got from the front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up each loop and fit them around my pinch twist, like that. I'm gonna do that for every pinch twist. All right, so now you can see the tail from the back and this is from the front. And now those loops that we've added are really starting to say, this is a peacock, not a turkey. <laughs> Now, his head is getting a little crazy up here. The magic, the magic step on this peacock to turn this into a majestic regal bird is to take the neck. Goodness, I'm not having static here in this video. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna take the neck, we're gonna open up the two bubbles on the back here, pull them apart, pressure fit your bird's neck up in there. So it's up close to the tail like this. You can see this from the side. Now he's kind of got his tail feathers up in the air, his nose is stuck up. This bird is like, yeah, I'm all that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna play with his beak a little bit so his nose isn't pointing straight up, something like that. I think this is really pretty. Now all we need to do is add the legs. So I've got my scrap piece that we save from the beak. I'm gonna do a small bubble, two one and a half inch bubbles for the feet, and then do that again for the other foot. Just two bubbles twisted together. Okay, those are gonna be the feet of our peacock. We're gonna take the rest of this. We're gonna come through the bubble on the bottom of the body just pull your feet right on through there. Okay. And then peacocks don't have super long legs, so make sure that they're not too long. Just bring your balloon back down into the feet. Straighten it all out. And there we go. Look how fantastic he looks. <laughs> so you can get rid of the rest of your yellow. And I just love this perky little peacock. <laughs> He's so cute. Now you could finish it off like this. I do like to add something for the eyes though. So I'm just gonna take a black 260 and I just put like one bubble of air in here and then I'm gonna twist that bubble in half. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit and get the sides the same. Okay, give it a good bunch of twists so you've got a little bit of space in between those bubbles. We're gonna tie the ends together in a double knot. Cut off the tails. Okay, those are just gonna slide in underneath the top bubble on the head. Just pull it up and push them through. And there is our gorgeous little peacock. Look at him showing off. <laughs> I love this design. It definitely takes a little bit longer than most, but this is definitely doable for parties and restaurants, and any peacock lover is going to love this balloon. Now another option you have, if you like the way the back of the tail looks with having the purple going all the way across the top of the tail, you could put the purple in the front instead of hiding it in the back if you don't like this multicolor or if you think there's too much blue and green. So that is another option. You could put the purple cross bubbles in the front and that's the way it would look like this. And I think that's really pretty too. So personal preference, you can decide how you want to do the tail. I'd love to see pictures of what you guys end up doing this week. Please share those in our Facebook group. The link is in the description of this video. I'll take you right there so you can join us and brag about your gorgeous peacocks this week. And of course, we've got merchandise for you guys. If you want your own really pretty balloon animal shirts to wear, I've got you covered. We've got a lot of stuff in the store. You can check that out as well. If you're a YouTube channel member, you are getting the clip art for this guy free this week, plus a bonus tutorial, which is gonna be a really cute, easy little bird made with a geo. So I know a lot of you have geo balloons hanging around and you're not sure what to do with. This is a really easy way to make a bird out of one. So again, that's for the YouTube channel members. Go to the members area and you'll see that available there for you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for another Tutorial Tuesday. I hope to see you back again next week. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. And I will see you back again next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Have a great week, everyone, and a great weekend. I hope you guys get lots of parties and make lots of money. All right, bye guys.